Hello my epic friends, today we have a very different and serious video, I mostly upload skit videos, building videos, top 5 things videos, but as you may have realized, I mostly take the good things of Brick Hill and upload them to my channel as a fun or entertaining video but I think it's time to really face Brick Hill as the complete product it is, because if you're new to Brick Hill, the first thing you're probably gonna say is something like, this is old Roblox but with no toxicity and just fun, while in reality it's not like everyone thinks, so without more things, let's get started. Okay so I first want to clear the first issue I have with Brick Hill and it's the forums, toxicity is probably the thing that as a new player, we all taught it didn't exist on Brick Hill because, well you might not see something bad on the shop, games, or clans page. All it takes is to click the forum button and you will enter a completely new world, and right now you need to be honest with me, do you really like the forums? Because I don't, I know one of the basics of old Roblox are the forums, on the forums there are a lot of people that post inappropriate stuff such as slurs and other things but the point is that probably something like 95% of the forum posts are filled with slurs and inappropriate stuff. The most requested solution to this problem is adding a chat filter, but just think it this way, Roblox tries to censor every slur possible and while they mostly did, there are a lot of not so common languages that don't have the chat filter on Roblox, even Roblox being a multi-billionaire company. They still can't censor all words, and imagine how much work and effort will be needed for an indie game to add on its game, and the problem is not censoring all bad words, is that as an example there are words in Spain that are considered slurs on Mexico. But Spains don't consider them as actual slurs and just as little offense words, and you might say, well epically guy, what's your solution to this problem? Well my solution is probably a solution that obviously won't happen, remove the forums. I don't think forums are even fun now, 90% of the forum posts are inappropriate and also adding the fact that there's that forum poster community which I don't like, and don't take me wrong. It's not a bad thing to do that but I personally don't see the point of risking your mental health to see a number grow, this only gives more points to my risky solution but I don't even think moderators will see this video, but anyways let's go to the next topic. The second thing I want to clear is the problem I see with Brickhill YouTubers. My problem with the Brickhill YouTubers aren't the YouTubers itself. In fact I like pretty much every Brickhill YouTuber, it's the tree thinning they get, take me as an example, I'm a Brickhill YouTuber. But as I said a lot of times before, Brickhill YouTubers don't get paid because it's not the main focus of everyone. And if you don't understand me, what I'm trying to say is that, YouTube monetizing doesn't work like if you just made a channel. Posted 3 gameplay videos and you quickly get monetized and become a paid YouTuber. YouTube works like this, you basically post something relevant that people will be instantly interested of, then they click it, and you convince them to subscribe to your channel, then out of that. You need to get a big community of fans to like your content and watch it, with this I mean that if you make a video and it gets 1 million views, and the next video gets 10 views, you can't get money, and same with me. I have some fans and people that watch my content and like it, even fan arts. But not enough to get paid, same with all the Brick Hill YouTubers you can imagine such as Sir Stefan, 5 Megabytes, Nick, Louis J, Lucas J, and others, the problem with this is that sometime in their life, they will need to really generate money and not just make videos for fun because while fun is probably the best thing, it never lasts forever, and what's the solution for this you might say. Well my solution to this is that the developers of Brickhill need to start working on the client right now as fast as possible, even delay events because of this, and this might sound dumb but when Brickhill releases the new client, more people will be interested on this platform. This means that some Brickhill YouTubers will probably be able to monetize their videos, but I'm obviously just a random guy writing a video for Brickhill so I can't really judge them for making the community wait 5 years for the new client. But still I think they need to do something because if they don't release the client in less than 4 years, and I swear to god that Brickhill will have a really big downfall if this happens. My third problem with Brickhill is the competition. We all know 50% of Brickhill's platform is based off Roblox. Let's be honest here, Brickhill is mostly based off Lego, Blockland, and Roblox, but my problem here is the hate it receives off this. I normally go play Hangout or Obby games on Brickhill until a random new user starts telling me things like, why do you like Brickhill?
Then I respond things like because of the community and the transparency with the community and the owners, but they always end up spamming things like, Roblox is better or break your stupid, then instantly leave like if someone asked them to do that. It's such a sad story what Brickhill has been troughed to stop the Roblox users from hating them. I personally hate when people just say things like that because, while we all know that Brickhill is mostly based off Roblox, the way the platform is run is way different, most notable the owners. Roblox being a multi-billionaire company can't release a simple egg hunt event and Brickhill even being an indie group of OGs, they can perfectly make an egg hunt, which of course is something that Brickhill haters refuse to note from Brickhill. And also the fact that most Roblox YouTubers are there for the money. But back to the point, Brickhill has always been harassed by most of the Roblox community. Thanks for watching till the end, hope you liked it, sorry if this video was a little bit boring, but I really need to take out all the bad points I have with Roblox and Brickhill, and also the way that Brickhill refuses to moderate in a good way their platform. Also huge thanks for the fan art. Shout out to the names on screen, I'm really excited to see people actually like my content but anyways, see ya on two days, goodbye.